Okay, here's this uh, thermal pile thermal generator running a pulse motor. And um, this is a follow up to the last video where I was showing it running a jewel thief. And I wondered if it could uh, put out enough power to run a motor, and it does. And, uh, you know, this has probably been around for a long time, and I don't know why I haven't looked into it, but uh, this is not like the felt hay module where you have to have one side hot and one side cold. You just heat up two dissimilar wires and it produces electrical energy. And I've played with this before and it's a really small amount usually when you use two wires. But they've got these things now. I'm not sure what the metal is on the wires, but they bundled them in a bundle and put it in a steel casing. And they're using them in fireplaces and water heaters and such to generate enough electricity to run a circuit. And, uh, you know, when I saw that, I'm thinking pulse motor the whole way. And for years and years, I've looked for ways to get energy to run things uh, any way you can. Solar or heat or any way you, batteries, all kinds of batteries I've made. But uh, this is the first time I have seen this happen where you take pure heat and you don't differentiate it with cold. It's just pure heat. And the heat causes electrical energy enough to run something. And I can see all kinds of applications for this if you carried this out. Because they still use fire all over our planet for lighting and heat. And um, I don't know if somebody took this idea and ran with it. And turned this idea of just taking pure heat to make electricity. And there's the uh, what this thing is running on about half a volt. In the last video I showed it running this uh, jewel thief here for light. And of course if you have a way to make electricity you can run a wire to wherever you want the light. Or in this case a motor. And uh, I don't know I just thought this was um, something I hadn't seen before. Uh, having something that ran off of heat. You can't see the flame on this. Uh, it's too light out here. But this is on pretty good. But they run these off pilot lights. It's the pilot light on a uh, water heater or a fireplace or something that causes the um, electrical energy to run the circuit that controls the water heater or fireplace. But in this case here, I'm running a motor. And uh, this is just one of these little pulse motors. It's a simple uh, coil of wire with a reed switch and then a, a 330 microfarad cap to hold the energy. Uh, there's an LED going off in there. You probably can't even see it. But there's also an LED that's going. Let me turn the radio on so you can hear it here. That's what it sounds like. But anyway, yeah, this uh, this is just something new that I, I have not tried before. And I'm sure it's been out forever. I just stumbled on it. And I thought I'd share that with people, that you can get these uh, thermal pile thermal couples. And like I say, I spent six, maybe seven bucks on this thing, uh, postage included, uh, shipping included, and it came pretty quick. And it it runs these little projects that I build, and uh, the, the Jewel Thief and then the little pulse motors. And uh, you get about 70 milliamps, this is what you get out of it. But of course you could team these up. You could put multiple ones if you had the money. Um, the more the merrier. And you could put them in series or in parallel. And pretty much get whatever you wanted to. And like I say, fire is used all over our planet for heating and lighting still. Um, be it kerosene lighting or wood or whatever. And this is a way to make electricity without using a, a photovoltaic or a felt a module. It's just two dissimilar metals heated up produces electricity and when you bundle it together you amplify the situation. And there it is running a motor. Thanks for watching.